Do you love coffee or tea? Do you travel? If so, pay attention. I think I might have something really cool to show you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Cruise Report Cruise Tech review. Today I'm reviewing the Ember Travel Mug. I call it a travel mug. They don't actually call it this. In their description on Amazon, they talk about it being a travel mug, but they don't really talk about it on the packaging. But they just call it a temperature controlled tumbler. Now I have the Ember mug, the regular size coffee mug that I've been using for probably close to two years. My brother gave it to me as a Christmas gift a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it. It's not, you know, really made to travel with, but I use it here at the house and I've really enjoyed it. This, however, seems a little more like a form factor that would be well suited for travel. And if you look at it on Amazon, and I'll put links in the description of this video if you're interested in this mug. Uh, but on the Amazon description, they talk about it as if it is designed for travel. I just can't find anything on the packaging that says specifically for travel. Now, I obtained this from a good friend of mine that I've known for probably more than 55 years and we grew up together and he watched my last cruise report video where I did talk about the Ember mug and he bought me this as a gift. Uh, what a great gift. You know, we're always got something planned as far as a cruise and we have one planned later this month and I'm going to take this mug with me and test it out in a real world environment traveling on a cruise. But let's open it up and see what's inside. Very nice packaging. Wow. Very, very nice looking. Just like my other Ember mug, super high quality. It's honestly not, it's not really that much heavier than my regular mug, even though it looks like it's about twice the size. Has a nice handle on top. We'll go over that in a second. Let's see what else we have underneath here. I think there's probably some charging base. Yes, this is the charging base. Now it does give you a little sticker to warn you not to get water on this because this will be plugged in. So you don't want to run the risk of any kind of shock or damage the unit. Take that sticker off for now. And <clears throat> there are contacts on the bottom of the mug. We'll peel this off. And it says here, do not microwave. You don't, never want to put this in a microwave because it's got electrical components got a battery in it it you know it has a heating element in it and you can see how well designed it is it has the power button on the bottom this is how you turn it on you press it one time to turn it on and a long press will turn it off and then you've got the little metal rings here that line up with these contacts for charging so when you set this on the base, it just starts charging. Some uh, information. We'll hang on to that. This one also comes with a sipping lid. I don't use these. I don't particularly like them. I guess if you're in a car and you want to drink coffee while you're going down the road, I don't do that. I, don't, I just don't use these lids, so I'll probably just leave that in the box. And then over here, we have the charging platform. Now, I wish, I do wish it was USB-C. It has its own little pin here for charging, and maybe that's required because of the amount of voltage that it needs to charge. 
I thought USB-C would provide enough power, but maybe not. It does have its own little transformer, so I suppose it just requires that. But that's basically what comes in the package. You have the, the lid for sipping. Uh, you also have this other lid that is just kind of, I love this because it's, it makes it like a thermos. You know, it, it has a really tight seal. It's got a nice rubber seal around here, like an O-ring seal that when you screw this on, it, it tightens down. Now this is great because then I can carry this, you know, when I'm, you know, going uh, out on an excursion or if I'm going to breakfast in the morning or to work in the morning at, on the ship or whatever kind of travel, I've got a really nice way to carry it. You could actually hook this on to a, to a carabiner if you needed to, like on your backpack or on whatever you travel with. Now on the inside, this is a little different than my other Ember mug. My other Ember mug kind of has a ceramic interior. They've got some more information in here. This one has more, looks like a thermos. It's more of a metal, like a stainless steel or aluminum interior. I'm not sure the difference. And this one also has the three hour battery. Now some of these only, I think, have a two hour battery or You'll have to look on Amazon. I'll put links again in the description if you're interested in this. I think this model sells for about $150. Very, very nice. I like this. Uh, now let's plug it in, charge it up, and we'll give it a try. Okay, I got this thing plugged in. I have a, an outlet under my desk here. So the unit is now charging. So what you'll basically see is a red, a slow flashing red light. That tells you that the mug is charging. And when it's fully charged, that light will turn green. Well, now I've had a couple of days to try out this Ember Tumbler, which I refer to as a travel mug. And they also refer to that on Amazon, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, let me tell you what I like about this, and there's really not anything I don't like. I've used it a couple of times. First of all, I like the size, I like the form factor. It fits comfortably in the hand. It has a, it has a material that's non-slip, it's, so it's not slick, it's not going to slip out of your hand very easily. Now it's not what I would, it would, it's not really a rubbery finish, but it is a matte rough surface, so it's not slippery, which I like. I do like this little, I call it a thermos lid handle, it does kind of screw on, keeps everything hot. Now I was not using this at home, in my office when I had coffee in it. I did notice that the coffee stays very hot. No problem. It holds, I wouldn't say quite twice as much as my Ember mug. I'd say it holds about one and a half times, maybe one and 140% of what the mug holds. But overall, I really like it. I It, it kept everything hot. That's the idea. So, when it's on, I have it turned on right now, you'll notice a little glowing white light that tells you that it is heating the, the liquid. There is an app that you can use to control these mugs. You can change some settings. So you can use their app on your smartphone to set like a maximum temperature for the mug. I keep mine at 145 degrees, which is the max because I want it hot. Now, the hotter you keep that maximum temperature, that could affect your battery life. Uh, but I have it set to the max on my little mug, and the mug will last about an hour and a half. This one is rated at three hours. I haven't tested it to make sure it lasts three hours yet, but I know it lasts two hours because I had it, I was using it for at least two hours yesterday. So with the app, you can change the maximum temperature. You can also modify the little LED down at the bottom that shows up at certain times. And I'm not that 
familiar. I don't use it that much. I'm not that into it, but you can set a custom color for that. You can also set some other things and you can pair to multiple Ember products through the app. So it's, it's actually kind of cool. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, give it a like. That really does help our YouTube rankings. And I, again, will put links to these Ember mugs in the description of this video. Thanks again for joining me. Until I see you next time, smooth sailing.